Welcome to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for when the lights go out. For angels and princes and boys and girls. The next 15 episodes are inspired by the ultimate book list on social skills. Check out the information on each one of these episodes where you can download these books all for free. And they're really, really good. And I'm reading them to my girls and they like them. I've got a book in there as well, so that's why I got involved. I hope you like them. It's been great reading them. So please make sure you hit subscribe or like or whatever button there is to make sure that the next story I read, which is probably going to be very, very soon, pops up on your dad's phone or your mum's phone or your phone, or whoever's device. And I hope you enjoy these books and these stories as you close your eyes and drift off to sleep. Tonight's story is called Little Dino Says Please by Kate Melton. Once upon a time, it was a bright morning in Dinosaur Town, But Donny the dino was feeling quite down. He looked all around and then gave a big groan. I can't find my friends. I'm all on my own. What's up? said a butterfly, fluttering by. You seem quite upset. Do you want to say why? Donny looked up and then answered. I'm bored. My friends are all playing and I feel ignored. They said that at times I can be rather rude like when I snatch toys or eat all their food. So Butterfly rested on Donny's clutched hands. You might need a trip in a magical land. A magical land, he asked, tempted to tease. Sure, she said, and this land's called Please. Please, he replied, with incredible size. If you don't believe me, just give it a try. You look at someone with a smile on your face and say the word please with some kindness and grace. People will listen to every request and this boring day will surely change for the best. And right after that, she leaped up and was gone. Donny, confused, just kept walking on. He saw his friends Malcolm, Miguel and Louise. Can I play with you guys? And then added, please. Yes, said his friends, and the four played all day, until it was time to be back on their way. Donny got home and he opened the gate. His sister was there. She was riding her skate. He watched how she glided with grace and with ease. Can I try? questioned Danny. And then he said, please. Okay, she replied, and she helped him to skate. They played and they laughed right until it got late. That night, Mommy hugged him and kissed his round head. My dear little dino, it's now time for bed. Not yet, answered Donny. I'd like one more book. Please, he then said, with a very cute look. But just halfway through, he drifted away, so tired from his wonderful magical day. The End <laughs>